Hello there. Today we are going to make an embellishment and it's going to be a floral embellishment. Um, you need four one inch squares and then you're going to take your corner rounder and you're going to round off just on two sides, opposite sides, the corners. Not all four, but just two sides. Making sure they're opposite sides, okay? So we're gonna do that. Alrighty, there. And then we can throw these little corners away. Alrighty, and we're done with this, so I can put this away. Awesome. So now we need our regular scissors, and we're going to cut them from the corner to the corner. Not the rounded, but corner to corner to make two pieces. And when I'm cutting to make sure it's a straight line, then I line it up point to point right on this edge. So I, I put it on there and then I'm holding both points on the edge. So first I catch it in the scissors like that. And then I can line up the other tip and I can hold it still and then just snip all the way up. Alrighty, that way it's not going wonky on you while you're trying to do that. All right, so that one's done. So let's go ahead and do these ones. Because sometimes it's, it's hard to hold it. Hold it still. There. Alrighty, very good. So now we need to arrange these in opposites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, since these are the two darkest, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do them opposite each other. And then we're gonna do this one. Actually, let's do the polka dots next. We're gonna do the polka dots next. And then we're gonna do the stripes next. And then we're gonna do the polka dots. So it looks kind of like a pinwheel flower. Isn't that pretty? What do you think of that? All right, so, and I'm not even gonna bother arranging these until I'm ready to do that because the, if I tap the paper, it's gonna get messed up anyways. All right, so now you can look at this and these are one inch squares, so, Let's go ahead and see. I was thinking it should be about three or three and a half inches. So if I do a three inch square for a scrap, so, and I've got some blue squares, which we can use. So one, two, we can trim those down to be about three inch squares. All right, so let's do that because we're gonna need two of them. And is that three inches wide? That's exactly three inches wide. That's perfect. So I just have to cut one edge off. Three by three. How perfect is that? Thank you again, whoever gave this stack of these to me. I'm loving them still. All right. So we're going to move these over. And again, we're going to have opposite sides and opposite sides. And then fill in with the polka dots. Alrighty. So now, isn't that pretty? I just love that. All right, so we're gonna take and we're gonna find, we're gonna draw a dot right in the middle here because that's where I want it to go. And then I'm gonna start putting these together. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead in a little circle right around that circle. And we're gonna start laying these down. So here's one. Try to line that up so it's straight. And line it up here so it's on the opposite side. There. And then this one. Oh, there's not enough glue down. All right, I'm gonna have to do this better. So let's put some more glue on it. There. If I 
work quickly enough. With tacky glue, it's nice because you, you do have time to maneuver things around if need be, which is awesome. All right, go ahead and do this. Next piece. And what you wanna make sure you're doing is making sure that the curve is going in the right direction. So like this, you don't wanna do it this way because then it's gonna start looking funky on you. And you don't want it funky. All right, then we can fill in with these ones. Polka dots, I love polka dots. They're so much fun. Polka dots. And polka dots. Yep. And polka dots. What a simple way to make a little pinwheel flower, huh? There we go. Turn it over. Give it a little back rub. And voila, that is all put together. So again, four colors. You could also do two colors if you wanted to. But just make sure that you're, you're alternating in between so you can see. But this is such a fun way, little one inch squares. We've all got a whole bunch of scraps that are definitely one inch. So, but the way you arrange them, the easiest way I found is to stick that dot right in the middle. So, and then to do opposite sides. So those two go together, these two go together, that and that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the two solid colors first. And do that straight up and straight down. Awesome, okay. And then the next solid color, opposite sides. Make sure that's straight. And the other side. There we go. And we can slide these in. That looks kind of like a propeller, doesn't it? That would be a cute idea for a boat card to do some, like, make it look like rudders. That would be pretty cool. See, just had another idea, woohoo. Gotta love it when these ideas pop into my mind. So now we're gonna have two little flowers. Aren't they pretty? How quick and simple. All right, so then we just need something in the middle. You can use a button, you can use, let's see where are my buttons right here. All right, so we've got buttons here. You can definitely do that. Throw a button in the middle. That would be really cute. I also have, these are little rondelette beads. And I've got these little flower beads. That would be pretty too. The rondelette bead would be kind of cool. That's neat. And then somebody gave me these. These are like a mirror. They're two mirror buttons stuck together. They're glued together. So it looks kind of like a yo-yo. A but I think that would be, I like that. And since I don't mail, I'm not gonna mail these, then it can be that high. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one because I really like that. And that's a good way to use these. Alrighty, perfect. Oh, I, that is so perfect for this. That's really neat, all right. Should I do another? Let's, let's go ahead and do another, why not? Use those. You could put a brad in the middle if you wanted to. You could just put a gem in the middle. But you know what, since I have these, I may as well use them. These were all stuck together. That's right, these were these were put together because there's a little nylon thread, like fishing line in between. All right, let's score it some more down in the center and press this one down. That is really pretty. Press that one down again, make sure it's down. 
It's funny because as it's starting to adhere with the glue, then it'll lift, the item will be lifted up just a wee bit and then you can press it down again and it'll hold it down really good. So what do you think of these? Aren't they pretty? So let me pull this up closer so you can see. I like how they came out. That's really pretty. All right, so that's how you make the little one inch square pinwheel flowers. So now let's make one into a card. All right, because that's the next question is, okay, so you made this embellishment, how do you use it? So we're gonna use it. All right, so let's see. We're gonna need a background on there. Background. Ooh, that actually matches. I'm gonna put, I guess I'll do this one. That's a great idea. So let's go ahead and trim this down. And five and a quarter by four. There. And we can put this skinny little piece on the inside. This can go on the outside and this can go right on there. That's pretty. I like that. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna trim the corners on that too. Alrighty. Yeah, let's do that. Good idea. Nice. Pretty, okay, let's go ahead and glue this down. Very simple, easy card to do, huh? What do you think of that? This would be really festive for a, for a birthday card too, especially with the colors that I've chosen. That would be really pretty. All right, so we can do this. You know it would be cute? Put this down, and then if we had a green strip, <laughs> You could do a stem and make this whole thing into a flower. Then we could add a stem. That would be really cute. Or do the stem from here down. Or we could just leave it on there like that. We could put a little word on here. We could move it down, put a little word up there. I kind of like it this way. In the middle, either on the top or in the center. I think I like it towards the top, but then maybe some words or something on here. All right, let's see what kind of words we've got. We have... Let go of your fears. How about do 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 do? Oh, there's that little peephole again. <laughs> How's that coming out? Oh gosh, there is a whole tear there. All right, well, I guess I'll have to fix that. Well, let me fix that right now while I'm thinking about it. Me and my recycled bits and pieces here. Okay, now that's gonna be sticky though. So, I'm gonna need another piece to go behind that hole. There. Because there's a, a hole punched right there and I don't want it to fall through. There's a hole punched here too, but it hasn't torn up and down yet. All right, so. Back to what I was doing here. Let's see. There's got to be words on here. A dream is your wish. Your is a wish your heart makes. I like that. Find joy in the ordinary. Don't forget to fly. Make it count. Live gently upon this earth. I like that. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Let's put that one on there. Why not? That's a good idea. Oh, that's funny. I just did that with for some reason with buck teeth. We have buck teeth in my family, and so <laughs> there's a lot of buck teeth in my family. So when we, we used to do a lot of silly things and exaggerate them, of course, and uh, we would 
my parents would say, okay, make make really buck teeth. Stick your teeth out as far as you could, can, and then say the ABCs, and we'd say the ABCs. And I used to do that with my grandkids, and they just thought it was so funny. And then, so my oldest grandson, he was doing it when he was about four or five. And he and then he, he was in the bathroom, and he was giggling, and I thought, oh gosh, what's he in there doing? And he came out, and he said, Mom, Mom. And I said, what? And he said, look, I can do the ABCs two ways funny. And I said, you can. So he did really buck, buck, buck teeth first. And then he said, and watch this. And he starts, <laughs> he pulls his shirt up and starts squeezing his belly button. <laughs> Making his belly button say the ABCs. <laughs> and he's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> And he said, that's funny, huh, my mom? And I said, that's, of course I'm dying. <laughs> and I said, you have to show Papa. And he says, yeah. He says, Papa has to do it. That would be really funny. So I said, yeah, you got to get Papa to do it. And so, because Papa would do anything for this little boy. And so Papa got home from work. And, and so Cody showed Papa. And of course, Papa laughed. And Cody said, you do it now. You do it now, Papa. So Papa says, all right. So he pulls his shirt up. <laughs> and he starts doing it. <laughs> And of course, it was even more hysterical seeing this big, fat, furry belly doing it. Oh, that was so funny. Oh, my goodness. So it's so fun to just be silly. All righty. So I just went down memory lane just because I was talking silly. All righty. This came out pretty. What do you think of that? Isn't that neat? So let me bring this up close. And here's the just plain. And here it is on a card. And this, especially with the saying, this would be a perfect birthday card for guy or gal. That's pretty nifty. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.